Hello and welcome to today's lab. Within your VCL session, navigate to the Blackboard course webpage. Along the left hand menu, select Data and choose the GSS 2008 data set. You'll be prompted to either open or save. Click open and that will start our session of SPSS. Building on the last lab video and recent lecture videos, today we'll be using the crosstab function to introduce the idea of control for nominal and ordinal variables. While using crosstabs to observe the relationship between the independent and dependent variable, there's always the possibility that alternative causes or rival explanations are at work, affecting the observed relationship between the independent and dependent variable. If other variables influence both the independent and dependent variable, these variables need to be isolated or controlled for to further refine our relationship. To test for a rival causal explanation, researchers must control for the rival explanation in the observed relationship between the independent and dependent variable. Consider a hypothesis liberals will be more likely to favor the legalization of marijuana than will conservatives or moderates. Let's run a frequency table on the independent variable, political views, to see if we need to recode it here. All right, go to Analyze and Descriptive Statistics. Select Frequencies. Sort your variables and then navigate down to Political Views. All right, so our variable Political views runs from extremely liberal down to extremely conservative in seven categories. Now, given we are interested in general differences between political ideology, let's recode this variable into three more manageable categories. All right, recall how to recode variables. Navigate to transform. Recode into different variables. Sort our variables. select the variable we wish to recode and we'll give it the name political views in three categories and the label political views in three categories click change and click define new values all right so the first three categories in our original variable one through three we're going to collapse those into our first category in the new variable. And then the middle category, 4, which is the moderate or independent category. We're going to call that the second category. And then the last three categories, 5 through 7, we're going to call the third category. And go ahead and click continue and hit OK. Now remember that this recodes them into new numeric categories, but we'll have to navigate over to variable view to assign value labels to these new categories. In variable view, navigate down to the bottom of the list here. And here's our new variable, political views in three categories. Find the value cell and we'll assign a value label to each one of the numeric categories. So our first category was liberal. And our second category was moderate. And our third category is conservative. Click OK. And we'll quickly run a frequency table on that new variable just to make sure it's recoded properly. We find it here in the list. And here's our new variable. Looks great. So minimize out of the output. All right. So now we'll go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and go down to Crosstab, sort your variables. Now recall our relationship is between the dependent variable of support for marijuana policy, and the name for that variable is simply grass. We're going to select that into our 
row box. And then our independent variable is political views in three categories. Select that into the columns box. And as an ordinal as an ordinal nominal relationship, we will select chi-square for significance, and then phi and Kramer's v for degree. And then in the cells button, we want to make sure that the column percentages are checked. Click continue, and then generate the cross tab. All right, so let's take a look at this cross tab. It appears that support for the legalization of marijuana is greater among those respondents identifying as liberal versus conservative. And sure enough, our p-value for chi indicates a very low chance of making a type 1 error. When we claim that the relationship in the sample also exists in the population. So this is the point in the research process where you would not stop at simply claiming a statistical relationship, but rather want to ask, what other factors besides political views could explain variation in support for the legalization of marijuana. So you may consider that whether or not the respondent has children may influence opinions on the legalization of marijuana. So in the language of science, we need to control for the effect of having children by holding it constant. In other words, we will break down our relationship into categories of the control variable and run our test on each category. All right, minimize out of the output and go to Analyze, and Descriptive Statistics, and back to our cross tabs, and our relationships should, should still be present here. And we're going to select our control variable, which is kids. Scroll down to the variable kids. And this is a dichotomous control variable. And we're going to place this control variable in the layer one of one box. And then make sure that all our boxes are ticked here. And click OK. Now, don't be alarmed. This is a very large cross tab. But when we are controlling for another variable, SPSS will essentially generate separate cross tabs within the larger cross tab. Looking at the table, the first distinction here is between the two categories of our control variable, whether or not the respondent has kids. First, let's look at our original relationship for those not having kids, both in the cross tab and down in the statistics box. It appears that our relationship still stands with a significance of or p-value of 0, 0.000. Now let's look at our original relationship among those with kids. Here again, it appears that having kids does not impact the re respondent's views on marijuana legalization. In the statistics box, note that our relationship is still significant at p equals 0 0.001. Lastly, note that the phi coefficient down at the bottom indicates that about the same amount of variation ex is explained in our dependent variable by knowing categories of our independent variable. So based on these results, we've now refined our relationship, our original hypothesis. Now we have control for the variable kids by separating out the respondents with kids and those without kids as part of our comparison of political ideology and support for the legalization of marijuana. So whether or not the respondent has kids does not seem to influence the relationship between political ideology and support for the legalization of marijuana. Thus, we can reject the null hypothesis and claim support for the research hypothesis that liberals are more likely to have legalization, support legalization of marijuana than our moderates or conservatives. Furthermore, we can make this claim having control for the effects of whether or not the respondent has kids. The video you just finished watching concludes our section on making comparisons using cross tabulations. Before moving on to the next videos, be sure to do the readings on t-tests and comparison of means. We'll see you next time.